Do I have the best Leon Edwards collection in the entire galaxy? You be the judge. This is the Leon Edwards collection episode. All right, we got the mobile cam out. I got the phone because we're going into the vault. We're going into the Vault X, and, and this is uh, going to just be the 2021 uh, Leon base rainbow that we got that we got here. And most of these are pretty clean. Uh, he was basically the first person that I really started to collect. So this was back in 2021, 2022, when the Leon hate was at all-time high volumes and uh, relatively cheap. You know, I got most of these for relatively cheap and it's always good to have a PC guy that doesn't break the bank because you can really amass a nice collection uh, for, you know, not that much money. Um, you know, I always thought that he was a really fun fighter to watch. I love the skills. Uh, you know, you inflict damage and you don't take damage. That is the whole point of the game. And I think he does that really well. Not the greatest image on these, but since it was debut prism, I thought it would be a fun set to collect. We got the silver, we got the green. Um, then, you know, all the numbered parallels, we got red, blue, purple, we got the orange, which looks real sharp, almost like a gold. And then we got the scope of 99 and the teal of 45. So the only one card that I would kind of want to add to this would be a real gold. <laughs> a true gold right here would be pretty sick, but I'm pretty much done with this rainbow. Unless I can find a true gold, this rainbow is complete. So I actually completed this quite a long time ago as well. I think it was well before his title fight. All right, let's flip the page. We'll keep we'll keep this thing going. And next up, we got the tricolor. So this is the 2021 Select Concourse and these are just the tricolor in the silver here. It's a nice shot of him fighting RDA. Um, I like the vertical orientation of these action shots and also these were like a buck. So, I mean, pretty sick when you can get you know, a PC guy for that cheap and relatively cool looking cards too. I think they did a good job with these 2021 select. Next up, we got the, let me switch the orientation here. We got the 2022 uh, Leon Panini Instant. And this is the uh, Usman head kick. This is the title fight where, you know, he shocked the world. And this was one of, still was, uh, is one of the best title fight finishes I think I've ever seen in the sport. Um, watching it live was absolutely incredible. You know, the the literal comeback story and to, to finish it that definitively is super impressive. I don't know if we'll ever see a fight like that again, honestly. I mean, how many times have you seen a guy down, you know, three three rounds in the final round and they're like, he has to get a finish here and they never do, right? But he actually he was able to find a way to do it. And to pair it with that, I got the uh, same, two, the Panini Instant uh, UFC 278. And I got this card as well. I just like the championship shot right there. Kind of captures the moment. Next, we got the 2022 Panini Prism Silver. And actually, this was a gift from uh, somebody through the mail. So thank you very much for that. Still, uh, as of right now, it's only been a couple of days since opening that last pack. I don't know who sent it. But again, please comment on this if you see it as well so I can pin your comment. And next to that, we got the uh leon edwards prism 2022 mojo and of the panini parallels i think the mojo might be my favorite man like gold obviously but then mojo from aesthetics is probably a close second i really love how these look and we got the 2020 knockout and these are the uh 88 right here we got the green then we got the 75 right here the blue and then we got the 25 of the purple and uh, my man Damien over at UFC card talk gifted me this purple and that made me want to get a couple of more cards a couple of rainbows and it's a pretty sweet shot he's doing that head kick again good block by RDA there um, I mean these are less than like four bucks a card so it's <laughs> it's really fun to have a guy that uh, for whatever reason, the hobby doesn't really love or respect because you can get just uh, some really fun cards for relatively cheap. And then last but not least, we got the select 2021 Leon Edwards. 
And if, as you can see, it is the exact same photo and these card companies, for whatever reason, whether it's, you know, licensing, laziness, um, we may only know if we get like an inside scoop, but for whatever reason, they tend to recycle so many different images. Alrighty, we're back. And first we got an immaculate. We got the 2021 and this is the base immaculate and they numbered them to 65 that year. And this is really kind of a boring design. Honestly, not really that good of a card. This was a FOMO impulse buy. This was well after the 2021 set had dropped, but I saw it and I was like, eh, well, you know, let's get this one. <laughs> you know, and, and it's a little bit thicker. Uh, his head is weird looking in this because like the, the thing kind of chopped off or it looks like it like chopped off the side of his face almost. He's got that flat head, dude, looking like flat flats from SpongeBob. Flats the flounder. But, you know, still part of the PC. Honestly, not not one of my favorite cards, but still got it. All right, we're going to move into the autos now. So we're moving into some of the heat. And um, some of y'all will be like, this is not heat. This card sucks. Striking signatures are whack. But I kind of think they're they're all right. The angular designs got kind of the marble finish the different colors you know the orange and the red look pretty sick um, this one is the kind of a lower parallel at of 99 i also like that they send them to you basically in a one touch which you know save you a little money save you a little time and the card's going to be pretty good quality as well this is the 2020 leon edwards striking signatures of 99 and next up we got a rainbow for y'all and the rainbow is going to be of the first auto, Leon Edwards. And th these are these are probably my favorite cards. And I think it's a great design. Got a good action shot. I really just like the, the minimal design with the coloring, but the this wave refractor is really nice. The waves are always have a good shine. And this was also one of the first cards that uh, I sent in to grading. It got a 9.5 and the auto, I guess, is too streaky. And that's why the auto didn't get a 10. But it's a super nice card, man. I really thought this one was going to gem. But really nice card. I think I got this for around 100, um, which may be a little high. And this was well before he won the title. But it is one of 75, which now I don't care about bookend at all. But back then I kind of did, so I paid up a little more for it. Not a fan of paying up for it bookends. Um, just my two cents on that. But really nice card. And to pair it with, got this baby, the gold. You know I love the gold. Got the nice gold on here. And this is the SGC 20, baby. Can't get any better than that. Got the nice gold shine. Got the first auto. Good auto on there. On card, which is huge. I really think this, this card has a lot going for it. It's on card and it's a first auto. So like in general, this run of uh, rookie autos is pretty sick i think and last but not least for the autos we have the leon edwards on card first auto of 10. and this one is sick this is one of my favorite cards that i have it's the of 10 leon edwards oh this this last uh, gold was of 50 i don't know if i said that that one's of 50. this one is of 10 man I think I'm done also with the first autos with this. I don't necessarily, I mean, maybe if the one on one popped up and it was, you know, relatively cheap, I might get it. But other than that, I'm really happy with this up 10. And the black with the, the refractors in it is pretty sick. Just a really, really nice card. And here, here's all of them together here. I'll put it, I like to put them from lowest print run or a highest print run to lowest. So that's the three of them together there. Go give you all vertical orientation as well. And I don't think I'm gonna get this, this uh, black um, graded. I could get it graded just to have it be in the tux, but honestly, man, I, I don't think it's worth it. If this came back like an eight, I would be absolutely so sad. So I'll probably just keep it raw in one touch. I think it looks good. It looks good in the display case and that's all I care about, right? I'm not really even trying to sell any of these. If I was going to sell one, it might be this blue, but I kind of like having all three of them together. So 
All right, next up we got the rookies. Now we're in the, the true rookies here. And I got this a long time ago, man. Let me see. I think I wrote it down in my notes. Let me see when I got this. This is the Onyx. This is the of 88. Uh, I think this was in 20, beginning of 2021. So this was like right in between when I was um, trying to find Topps products. They didn't have any products because the license had just expired and uh, Prism and Panini weren't out yet. So I was kind of like, man. So I got an eBay account, went on there, uh, and I found this. And I was like, dude, this is a pretty cool card. I like the, the Reebok. I like the red. And it's of 188. This is the Onyx. This is the, the true rookie of Leon Edwards. So I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm a big fan of the true rookie. The first printed card of that person, I think, is one of the best to collect. It, to me, it just makes sense as like that's the original. That's the OG. Uh, so I think there should be, you know, a little bit of more desirability or a little bit more of a premium on those cards for, uh, as far as collectability goes. So here's the, the rookie, the of 188. And I was thinking about maybe getting, you know, a rainbow of the true rookies because you can get some of those for relatively cheap. But then I got this absolute nuke and now I don't need to do a rainbow because I have the Leon Edwards <laughs> true rookie one of one from the top of the vault. And uh, this is the, the blank back. So me and Damien, I'll link it up uh, of above. We had a conversation about the tops of, blank, uh, bl tops of all blank backs. This is the true one of one. So I have what, what has to be the most desirable Leon Edwards card out there. The true rookie of one of one. And pair that with the up 10 first auto, you know. That's, that's kind of why I titled this video the way it is. Um, who knows? I'm sure there's somebody with an absolutely insane Leon Edwards collection. But for me, the way I collect, these are the two most important cards. Uh, the first auto and the true rookie. So I have the 101 of the first auto. And I have the up 10 of, or I have the 101 of the true rookie and the, the up 10 of the first auto, which you know, for me is pretty sick. And my Leon Edwards PC is, is basically done. The only way, the only other cards I would want would be this and maybe a one one if that came at the right price. I think it'd be absolutely insane right now just because, you know, of the run that he's on as a champ. Um, and the gold uh, 2021 debut prism that we saw just to kind of complete that rainbow fully on that page. I hate that there's just one <laughs> slot left open. Um, but in order to to fill that, I think I would want to fill it with the 2021 Gold Prism Leon Edwards. That concludes the Leon Edwards PC day. And uh, as I close my speech here and my show and tell, um, I would say that everybody out there should have somebody that they like to collect that's relatively cheap. And, uh, you know, maybe they are underappreciated or undervalued by the market and you like collecting them. That's a person that you know, that you could see winning in the future, I think you should collect them and who knows what's going to happen. Um, this was a great, a great kind of learning experience for me to see that if I like somebody and I think they're good and they're undervalued and cheap that, you know, go ahead and collect them and see what happens because, you know, they could go on a great run, a great streak, and they could win a title. They could win two title defense, you know, they could win three titles, beat Colby, beat Bilal, you're at four titles. Before you know it, you know, they could be uh, a legend of the sport. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, stay tuned for future videos just like this.